so. Yeah, and uh, and and, and uh, my son's got a, got a bit of a cushy number up here tomorrow and Sunday. He's been asked by Nissan to drive a GTR mm. up the hill, so <laughs> so I'm a bit jealous now that he's gonna. Much as I love my Dacia, it's obviously a brilliant mm. little car. Yeah, I think 500 horsepower and a Nissan GTR would probably be a bit more. Turn funny. the eye a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Not bad, is it? <laughs> Does this have DRLs? Or when uh, it comes to Europe, it, uh, um, UK it will have. It will have, but we, I don't think they're LEDs. Because um, if you look, for example, 208 has just been launched. If you look at the different specs, yeah. you've got LEDs. It's like a line, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You've got a cross, little sort of angle across yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah. I've seen one then for the wife. They're not quite as elegant as. Uh, where did I put that card? You gave it to the lady. I've given it already, and I'm going yeah. mental. I'm giving it to him, yeah. See, I knew that. I was just checking there. Yeah. See, good lad, you're on the case. <laughs> Same beers you had at lunchtime. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> I knew the sixth one was too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I go as fast as him. Yeah, he does make me laugh. This chap, he's obviously got a certain point he lets people go at. And I feel like when we were, we were sitting behind a Ferrari 458, I would, with the greatest respect, I'm sure you're a brilliant driver, but we ain't going to catch a 458 in a million years. So, <laughs> so I just sort of watched it disappear away. But. A little bit of roll, not too much. Yeah, it's it's good. Good. I mean, and yeah, you'd expect to get a little bit, as you, as you quite rightly said, but it's not uh, it's not excessive. Probably notes more in the back what it feels like as to whether it's moving around too much or not. But uh, I don't know if I'm, don't worry, I'm feeling sick already, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I need the sick bag. Hang on. Right. Look, windows are windows are active don't in worry. the back. So don't worry, you've got an Audi bag on your lap. You can use that. I've got to test the efficiency of the leather. <laughs> so we've got quite a tight left hand here. It's a little bit deceptive, so. Bringing it a little bit further over to the right before you turn in now, turn in, you'll be fine. That's perfect. Well done. We had a couple of new misses through that one this morning, so I'm going to tell people where to go now. <laughs> and uh, I was talking to one of the guys that has been involved in this event since it started. He said in 1999, when Nick Heifel came up here in McLaren, current McLaren F1 as it was at the time, you know, on pre car. 162 miles an hour just before it went past the stone wall there. <laughs> That's pretty scary, isn't it? <laughs> Talk about threading through the eye of a needle, you know. It's, Gosh, it's alright though, because they've got all these lovely straw bales. That'd stop a Formula One car at 160 <laughs> yeah. miles an hour. Mate. Easy. Which make, makes you laugh when you think back in the 50s and the 60s. Well, yeah, that's what straw, they used to have. Yeah, straw bales were the, me the preferred method of stopping a car. And as they used to you know, regularly burst into flames, it lands on top of straw bales, bursts into flames, and <laughs> well, it's a bit more fuel for the fire, wonderful. So how many more we got to do today then, do you think? Um, I think we're doing around between two and three an hour. We're trying to catch up a bit because it got a little bit road just goes around to the left as you get to the end here so you'll just see where it goes. You How's it feel Ben? Um, yeah it's, it's not as responsive to the DS3 but of course it's a bigger car because it's yeah. the same sort of engine really. Yeah. Uh, Does it feel like it pulls or what? In relation pulls to... from two to three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But around that the rest of the time it, it's sort of what you might expect. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's obviously been very much geared as well yeah. to um, to try and make sure that the emissions and the economy figures are good. Because obviously, especially what are the emissions on it. Well, 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 for this particular version, which is two-wheel drive, it's yeah. 130 grams. Oh right, which is wow. not too bad really for. You know, obviously, we know there's lots of sub 100 cars out there, but they're often you know the sort of DS3 really? size yeah. cars. I think it's a, no. it's a 95 gram one, isn't it? That I do for DS3. Yeah, DS3, I think. Yeah. 99 as well. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So there, you know, that you'd expect for that. Uh, you just made the left-hand drive. I'm going to open the door instead of change gear. Mistake, didn't you? I you saw it. that, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't I like to change gear. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, everyone's done it. Mate. Don't worry. It's the first Don't time, worry. yeah. Don't worry, yeah. <laughs> it's quite, quite funny. When you see you see everyone, just for a second, are you going to open the door or are you going to change gear? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if he got out, I would have got a bit worried. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But yeah, he's, you can see. I, I was talking to a chap earlier, and he's a, he, he said he used to live in Spain, and he said that the Spanish traffic authorities had a statistic that 
about, um, basically said that the most dangerous place in the whole of Spain to drive was within 10 kilometers of a Spanish airport during the holiday season, based on the amount of yeah. British drivers who got, got off the plane. Get a higher car. Get a higher car, bit stressed out, Not kids screaming, wife's fed up. Which side of the mm. road? Maybe How'd you go around roundabouts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they basically drive into each other. And yeah, all the bloody I've done it. Yeah. It's funny actually, I was out in Spain just before Christmas doing a job out there for on a press thing. I was out there for uh, about six weeks. I come back, got in my car, I was like, oh, hang on, <laughs> what am I doing? Because you're so used to driving a left hand drive. Yeah, I no. Like, you get used to it fairly quick, don't you? Yeah, yeah. When you're over there. And again, of course, because you're in the right environment, you're on the right side of the road, is it? Whereas here, if you're in the left hook or over this side. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's tricky, isn't it? I've okay. never done that. I've never driven a left took it over here. Yeah, well, originally when they when they said they were going to announce Dacia and they were going to do the pre-launch, which this is basically, they were saying, well, we've got a load of left-hand drive cars from Europe. We're going to put them in the showroom. So if you if you go to a, uh, a Renault dealer in the UK now, they'll have mainly yellow and white and Renault and then a bit of blue and silver in the corner promoting Dacia. There'll be one on display as a static. Be prom you know, there'll be promotional material and brochures. You can go and find out about them. So if you had somebody that said, oh, you know, Oh, you had a go in one of those. There'll be a little you chink in yeah, the show. Yeah, you can go and see. Yeah. But it's not going to be available to drive until the right-hand drive cars come available. Oh, right. And it's, a, it's purely a, a, a what-if health and safety scenario because for every person that will drive perfectly safely, you only have to take one person that goes out and has a big accident because they're driving a left-hand drive car in the UK. Yeah. And they'll say, well, you know, Dacia shouldn't have let us drive it. Yeah, fair comment. Cool. So when are they expecting? End of the year, about sort of November, December time. Yeah. To see the right hand. I've got to be honest, the price point is pretty good, isn't it? And it's solid, it's solid isn't For it? what it is, yep. it is pretty good, I've got to be honest. Well, I can see a lot of people, certainly a lot of people who have two car families and think, like, I need a really solid, sensible, practical car. I've got 10 to 12 grand to spend, yep. you know. Yeah. You can 12, no, like this one, top spec for under 13. You know, if you, if you go for an entry spec at not under nine, you know, what can you get for that? I mean, you could, you, oh, could no. easily, you could easily spec up a C1 and get close to that if you threw stuff at it, couldn't you? So, you know, it's uh, it's well, pretty start the price is about the same as a C1, yeah. isn't it? Um, you don't get you know, the power and the, uh, the room in the back. No, exactly. Again, it depends on what you need the vehicle for, doesn't it? You know, some people... So how does, what happens with a C? Do they drop down or something, or yep. what? Yeah, you do got they, a, you Do got these come up? Because I know my old folks... I just like the fact they come up, or yeah. do these just come down? You basically, yeah, you tilt the, tilt the base forward. Oh, you do? You can drop the, the, back, the back down to get ah, it flat. You'll, so you'll be able to get loads in it. Yeah, God six. almighty, I'm actually getting slightly tempted myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, dogs. It's not, it's, not bad, it's not a bad proposition, just because it's, as you say, it's just such good value for money, isn't it? And well, we do a yeah, lot of lugging every couple of weeks. Do you? Yeah. You need uh, something for your wife, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I was, gonna, I was looking at the Fiesta because you can. I like a two door car, we don't really need a four. But you can drop the seats steering in the back and get quite a lot in. Yeah. Nice. yeah, it's a speed, speed adjusted steering, so as you'd oh. expect, you know, it's going to be lighter at lower speed. It's a little bit further. This frees off right. the electric steering. Exactly, yeah. yeah this is it's a, light all the time. <laughs> yeah, this is an electric, but it's a, it's a, it's a brushless system, which basically means that, that, that it's a bit more progressive when it goes from low speed to high speed and vice versa. Okay. So you get either more or less resistance depending on the speed, obviously. So it's just. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's actually um, on the latest generation of Renault, so that's, that's sort of the, some bits that they've they've kind of incorporated that are completely current. Other bits you'll find on maybe the sort of the one spec before. So, so how long with your legs? Do you, do you know? Not far now. Yeah, I've, I mean, I'd, I'd not. Uh, uh, right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, no, hip, hip replacement in end of May. Yeah, so I've been about a month now. And as the, the um, physio said, she's got. It's basically when I'm doing stuff like this, where I'm up and about. Quite obviously today I'm in a car, but yeah. the next five to four days I'm standing up. Um, yeah. So um, he said, just keep your sticks there, just to give yourself a bit of rest, because it gets a bit. Because all the muscles at the top when they did the operation are still sort of settling down a bit. Yeah, I was but, on uh, sticks three and a half months, about a year ago, and my Achilles tendon rupture. Oh god. So I know what it's like on sticks, getting about. Yeah, it's a pain, isn't it? But yeah. you know, it, it's. What you it get is. there. It's just slow. Go on, you use your off-road tactics and just do dive across I wonder how I wonder how long he took to go around the circuit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's getting there. 
Yeah, this is why we have areas which are not supposed to be, you're supposed to go on as a spectator. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Right, then, as we get up to this bit at the end, we just have to let these people go and just, just pop the hazards on just because they want us to have one when we go down the, down the middle of the um, hangar. This must be tough for the Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. Have to be done very carefully, I think. Are you just here today or are you for the weekend or are you doing? Uh, just for today. Just yeah. today. Citroen Games tickets, so cool. come along, check it out. Yeah. What's the weather forecast for the next two, do you know? A bit of everything, I think. Is it? So, yeah, this is typical. Like, what, what, we, what we'd expect, isn't it? It's a great yeah. place, summertime. Well, yeah, to be honest, a couple of days ago, weather forecast was atrocious, and I don't think I've had much of a drop today, so yeah. I'm, I'm relatively happy. Yeah, I've got an option on a ticket tomorrow, so I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, I think it's supposed 50, to be right. 50 quid, isn't it? Not too bad, is it? I'm very impressive. impressed with the whole show. Yeah. Oh, it's such a great event, and I mean, it's just there isn't anything like it. It's I like this bit. I bet I wish I'd come in here quicker though, because I'm looking at buying two vehicles in the next well, one in the next month, 